Hey, what's up guys, it's Nick back again with a quick iOS update tip that could totally save your day. But today we are talking about downgrade. Sorry for the delay, I've gotten a few comments asking how to get back to iOS 18 for a more stable experience, but I've been busy testing my app. So yeah, while I do love the overall redesign, like I said, the first beta is usually buggy and some features just don't feel quite right yet. Totally get why some of you prefer the previous version. So in this video, I'll walk you through step by step how to roll back. Just promise me watch the whole thing so you don't miss anything, alright? Okay, so the downgrade is pretty easy. On some level you just need to turn off Find My Backup Your Data then downgrade the iOS 26 and restore your data. But each step has some key points to watch out for, I'll explain them one by one as we go through the process. So first, go to your account and settings and go to Find My then turn it off. You need to do this to prevent getting stuck during the whole process and the activation lock after the downgrade. Then after that, back up your data. Please note that downgrading itself will erase your phone, so it's best to a full backup first. If you have enough iCloud storage, you can back it up there or at least make sure the important stuff is fully backed up. But if you don't have that much iCloud space, which I personally don't either, so I use Finder here to back up all data. You can still use iTunes or Apple device app on Windows, the operation is the same. Super simple. Now one thing to note because a lot of people care about this, will local WhatsApp messages be backed up by the computer? The answer is yes. Computer backups are full device backups, they are not selective. However, when restoring the backup later, you'll need to re-download all your apps. So I suggest you make a manual backup of app data like WhatsApp to be safe. While your data is backing up, you can go ahead and prepare for the downgrade. Just make good use of your time. The safest method is to use an official downgrade tool, one that is certified and reliable. I personally often use a tool called Rayboot to handle system issues. And this time, downgrading is also super easy. Once you've downloaded it, you'll know how to use it just like you see on the screen. You start by downloading the firmware. If you want to downgrade to an older version but it's not listed here, that means Apple has officially closed the signing window. I don't recommend using some crack methods to install old versions, even if you install them your phone might not be able to activate. You can also try other certified and secure tools. Because I frequently test my app, I need to make sure the iOS version on my phone is official firmware. No viruses, no security risks, and proper downgrade technology. But these pro tools usually require payment. So you can check out how it works and see if you need it. See what offers they all have. Sometimes there are discounts. You can go to the software website I mentioned directly from the link below. I won't talk too much about that here. Okay, so, after downloading the software, make sure your backup is completed before you start the downgrade process. Alright, let's downgrade my test iPhone. If your connection is stable, it only takes a few minutes. Earlier I backed up my main phone, so that took a while. But the downgrade is super quick. Within a few minutes, your phone will be back to iOS 18. At this point, your phone will be restored to factory settings. No worries, you can go ahead and restore your data. Bring your phone to the Restore Backup screen and select Restore from Computer or iCloud. Then on your computer, if you backed up your phone while you were still on iOS 18.5, then you don't need to modify the backup files. But if you did the backup while you are on iOS 26, you will need to modify the backup file. Here, I'll show you how to do this on a Mac. Just hold the Option key to open Library. Then go to Application Support, Mobile Sync, Backup and choose the newest folder. Inside, find the file named Info and open it in TextEdit. Now press Command plus F to search for product and change the number 26 below it to 18.5. Once that's done, save the changes, go back to Finder and start the restore. It should work just fine. Now your phone should be back with iOS 18 without losing any data. You can go check your photo and stuff. The apps will automatically download it after you sign in your ID. Okay, just like I mentioned earlier, if you want a free method, you can use an IPSW file to do the downgrade, but I personally can't vouch for the safety of that method. Visit the IPS.me website to download the files you want for your iPhone model. After this, return to Finder or iTunes to import the downloaded IPSW file. Then hold the Shift key for iTunes, Options for Mac, then click on Restore iPhone and select the IPSW file you downloaded. Confirm the restoration and your iPhone will downgrade to the version you selected. And that's it! Hope everything goes smoothly with your downgrade process and you successfully get your phone back to iOS 18. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. 
If this helped, like and subscribe for more insightful tips, or check out my other videos. See you next time.